Chairman, my lords, aldermen, sheriffs, ladies and gentlemen, greetings from the Gulf. Now, I'm very sorry that I cannot be with you in person for the launch party of the 10th Lord Mayor's Big Curry Lunch. I had to change my diary plans at short notice uh, to accommodate a longer overseas visit to Qatar, Kuwait and Malta after the invitations for tonight had gone out. Nonetheless, Michael and I thought that it would inconvenience so many people if we search for another date. So here I am on film, but with you in person, you have the much more attractive figure of my wife Wendy, the Lady Mayoress, the two Aldermanic Sheriffs and their consorts. The ninth Lord Mayor's Big Curry Lunch in April of this year was a red letter day for two reasons. We had the largest audience ever in the history of the lunch, over 1,000 200 people. Secondly, we raised the largest amount in the history of the lunch to date, £217,000. That means that in the course of the first nine lunches, we have raised over one and a half million pounds for the Iraq and Afghanistan Fund, managed by the Army's national charity, ABF, the Soldiers' Charity. Well done, Geoffrey, Juliet, Michael and all the committee and all of you who contributed last time, including a record number of livery companies in so many ways. The 2017 Curry Lunch is going to be a very special one. We continue, of course, to commemorate the First World War. For the 2017 lunch, we will remember in particular the Battle of Passchendaele. Competents from that war are now outside living memory, but their suffering, their injuries, their traumas are reflected today in the soldiers who have fought so bravely in recent theatres of combat. For the 2017 lunch, I have set the bar very high indeed. I would like us to raise over £450,000 next year so that we can announce that we have raised £2 million in the course of the first 10 Lord Mayor's Big Curry lunches. Now, to do this, I need the support of everyone in this room today. We already have tremendous support in place. I would like to thank the sponsors who've already signed up to support in a big way. BAT, Sir Trevor Chin, the London Metal Exchange and the Pelham Court Charitable Trust. Thank you. You will all be very well looked after this year when it comes to food and drink. Noon Foods is providing the curries. Cobra is providing the beer, and private cellar the wines and water. Thank you. The Diamonds and Champagne Bar is once again being sponsored by Susanna Lovis Jewelers and Lanson Champagne. Wendy and I have been working very hard tasting cocktails in preparation for the Watches and Cocktail Bar, again sponsored by Harold Pinchbeck Watches and the Coq d'Argent Restaurant. Now to the livery companies and ward clubs. In this city, we have a very special relationship with the armed forces of the Crown. This lunch gives us all an opportunity to show our appreciation for the service and dedication of our soldiers. Will you help me, Michael, and the committee raise not £250,000 in 2017, but £450,000? Next year, it would be marvellous if the livery companies and ward clubs could cover the entire cost of putting on the lunch. The figure is just under £80,000. If we could do that, every penny taken on the day will go directly to help soldiers and veterans, both regulars and reservists and their families, who have been affected by service in Iraq and Afghanistan. I know you'll be having a fascinating and rewarding evening, and my thanks go to each and every one of you for your interest in and commitment to this most worthy of charities. Now please join me in a small round of applause, but very appreciative, for Michael Hockney, the genius behind the Lord Mayor's Big Curry Lunch. And I look forward to seeing you all next April. Thank you.